Okay, I'm here to do my UFC on versus two predictions. Takes place this Sunday, August 1st, at the San Diego Sports Arena in San Diego, California. Uh, main event: John Bones Jones takes on the veteran uh, Vladimir the Janitor Matushenko. Um, I think this is a pretty good card. I'm excited for it. Uh, you know, Akami versus Munoz. I think that's gonna be a good fight. Um, so just all around, I think it's a pretty good card. So um, the prelim bouts, I'm gonna say who just who wins, like I always do. I'm gonna discuss some of them. Uh, we'll try to, and then the main bouts. Obviously, I, I discuss and go into detail. So, uh, let's get this going. Rob Kimmins versus Steve Steinbest. I got Kimmins. Uh, Darren Elkins versus Charles Oliveira. I got Oliveira. James Irvin versus Igor Pepperjack. Irvin makes his return back to 205, where I think he should be at and where he should stay at. Um, and I got Irvin in that fight. Um, then Brian Stan versus Mike Masenzio. Um, this is Masenzio's return since his last fight at UFC 92, with, I think December of 08, when he fought CB Dalloway. Um... I believe in cage rest, um, especially with the, the heavyweights, the light heavyweights. You know, obviously, you know, Brock Lesnar kind of showed it in his fight the first round. Um, Rampage definitely showed it in the Forrest Griffin fight and against Rashad Evans. Um, but when, once you get kind of towards the middleweights and the, the welterweights, lightweights, it kind of doesn't really affect them that much. Um, and and Masencio, he, he has the skills to beat Brian Stan, which Brian Stan is making his debut at 185. So for Stan, the question comes into play, is he cutting the weight properly? Is he going to make 185? You know, it, it's you know it's it's a difference between 205 to 185. Um, and like I said, you know, Masencio has the abilities to beat Brian Stan because the get the the hole in Brian Stan's game is his takedown defense and his submission defense. Those are the two things Masenzio is great at. So, with that being said, I'm go I'm gonna go with Mike Masenzio over Brian Stan. Um, I don't think Kate Dress is gonna be a part of it. Um, I think he's gonna be fine. Um, I think he's gonna take down Brian Stan and submit him. So, we'll see. But I got Masenzio over Stan. Uh, Demarcus Johnson over uh, versus Matt Riddle. I got Johnson. Uh, Paul Kelly versus Jacob Volkman. Um, I just think Kelly's too strong for Volkman. I think he can keep Volkman off of him. Um, I think Kelly is much better on the feet than Volkman is. It seems like every time Volkman fights, his stand-up gets worse instead of better. Um, so I, I think Kelly keeps on the feet and just picks him apart. So I got Paul Kelly over Jacob Volkman. On to the main bouts. Uh, first one, Tyson Griffin versus Takanori Gomi. Um, I'm a Gomi fan. Um, I've been a... It, it, I've been a Gomi fan since, you know, I watched him, you know, in the Pride, you know, and, you know, when he he got beat by BJ Penn, you know, at Rumble at the Rock. Um, but it just seems like he's not all there, and he just doesn't solely concentrate on fighting. Um, if he keeps this fight on the feet, then I think he has a great advantage to win this fight. He has the ability to keep this on the feet, too. But do I think he's going to do it? No, I do not. Um, I, I just think Tyson Griffin's going to push the pace. He, he's going to be aggressive. Um, and Takanori Gomi just won't know what to do. Um, very similar to when he fought Ken Flo. Um, so, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I just I, I wish Gomi kind of just... The Gomi in the Pride days, he's gone. He's he's past his prime, I think. You know, but I just think Gomi has a lot better skills than what he showed against Kenny Florian, um, and he could show this against Tyson Griffin. Tyson Griffin's coming off a loss, but I think that's going to motivate Tyson to win this fight. Um, I just think he's he's going to take Gomi down, ground and pound him for three rounds, and win in decision. So, Griffin unanimous decision over Gomi. I, if Gomi keeps it on the feet somehow, I, I think he has a great chance of winning this though. On to the next one, John Howard versus Jake Ellenberger. Um, this fight, I mean, it, multiple things come into play in this one. Obviously, they're both great at, you know, taking people down and, you know, ground and pound. Um, I think Howard's a little bit better on the feet. But with that being said, I, I, I don't think his cardio is there. I think Ellenberger is going to push the pace. He's going to be more aggressive. He's going to push Howard up against the cage. They're going to keep trying. He's going to tire Howard out. Um, he's going to stay in close again with Howard. Um, and then in the third round, he, Howard's just going to be drained. Ellenberger takes him down, gets a TKO. So I'm going to go with Jake Ellenberger, third round TKO, just being aggressive, draining Howard of his cardio, and then getting a TKO victory. So, like I said, Ellenberger, third round TKO over John Howard. Next fight, Yushin Okami versus Mark Munoz. Uh, I'm excited for this fight. Um, I'm a Munoz fan, but I think Okami is just too big for him. He's too strong, and he's improved tremendously since he lost to Chelsea on it. Um, in his last fight against Linhares, he just dominated him, destroyed him, 
And um, in Munoz's last fight, he wasn't doing too pretty. He wasn't doing very well, actually. He he was losing, um, but th it seems like that's what Munoz is all about. He's 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 getting beat, and all of a sudden he catches you with one good punch, and you're done. You you just you get rocked, and he just and he attacks you like that. So um, does he have the power to hurt Okami? I think he does. I mean, you know, you know, Okami does have a pretty good chin, but Munoz hits pretty damn hard. Um, but Yushin Okami is just too good on the feet. He's too strong. I don't see Mark Munoz having the same, you know, uh, having the same success like Chael Sonnen did taking down Okami. Um, I think Yushin's going to just pick apart Munoz. Um, and then the second round, he's going to catch Munoz and he's just going to ground and pow. He's just too strong for Munoz. So Yushin Okami, second round TKO over Mark Munoz. On to the main event John Bones Jones takes on the veteran Vladimir the Janitor Matryoshenko. Um, a lot of people are just like saying Jones is gonna run through this guy. You know, you know what's Matryoshenko even doing in the same cage as Jones? What the hell are you guys talking about? No, Matryoshenko has a great chance of beating Jones, and and I I kind of hope he does. Um, I think John Jones thinks he's you know the you know all the mighty you know everything, and I don't think he is. Um, you know I I wish Matryoshenko you know does win this fight, but. To be realistic, John Jones is just, his fighting style is awkward, um, and I don't see Vladimir figuring it out. So, um, Matryoshenko has improved his stand-up. He has heavy hands. He's great at taking people down. Um, I see him taking down Jones in this fight, to be quite honest. I really do. Um, but I think Jones gets back up, figures it out, and then, you know, stays away from Vladimir and just picks him apart. So, I don't see Vladimir figuring out John Jones. In this fight, um, I wish he wins, but I don't see it happening. John Jones just—he's too well-rounded. He's great out in the feet, um, and he has great throws, so he might even take Vladimir down. So, but with that said, I don't see Jones finishing Vladimir. So, John Jones unanimous decision over Vladimir Matsushenko. So, there you go. There's my predictions for UFC on versus two um, this Sunday, August 1st. So, watch it. It's a good card, I think, um, and. I think I'm going to get my UFC 117 up here pretty shortly, but, man, people are getting injured like crazy, like Diago Silva just got injured, so, um, I don't know, but I'll, I'll get out there shortly, so there you go, thank you, I'm out, have a good night.